This is the Music History Today podcast for September 8th. On today's show, Michael kisses Lisa Marie, Chuck Berry duck walks, and Tom Waits drops Bone Machine. First up, though, on this date in 1935, one of Frank Sinatra's first singing groups, the Hoboken Four, went on the radio show Major Bose and His Original Amateur Hour. In 1954, DJ Alan Freed moved from Cleveland, Ohio to New York City and started broadcasting his Alan Freed Rock and Roll Show, becoming the first white DJ to play R&B and rock and roll by black artists. Alan's radio show helped early rock and roll and R&B make it into mainstream America. In 1955, Chuck Berry performed his famous Duck Walk on stage for the first time. In 1956, Elvis Presley made the cover of TV Guide. In 1956, same day, Eddie Cochran signed his record deal with Liberty Records. In 1957, Bobby Helms sang on The Ed Sullivan Show, making his television debut. In 1958, Paul Anka started his tour of Asia. In 1965, an ad was run in Variety magazine to cast the leads for what became the TV show The Monkees. In 1986, the music company Muzak, known for what was called elevator music at the time, was sold to the Fields Company, which owned the Marshall Fields department store chain. And when you think about elevator music and department stores, yeah, it kind of makes sense. In 1990, the New Kids on the Block TV cartoon show premiered on ABC. In 2009, singer Peter Andre divorced model Katie Price. In 2010, singer Jenny Rivera married Major League Baseball player Esteban Loyoza. In 2014, singer and actress Ashley Tisdale married singer Christopher French. In 2016, Billy Corgan announced his new album while doing a Facebook Live video. And in 2020, Travis Scott became the second celebrity after basketball icon Michael Jordan to appear on the menu of a McDonald's fast food menu when McDonald's announced the Travis Scott meal. In award ceremonies that were held on September 8th, in 1994, Aerosmith won big at the MTV Video Music Awards. No one remembers that because that was the ceremony that Michael Jackson opened up the show by going out on stage with Lisa Marie Presley and kissing her. Rather awkwardly, actually. And in 2007, Leonard Skinner were inducted into the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. Albums that were released on September 8th include in 1958 when Gene Vincent released a Gene Vincent record date. In 1970, the Jackson 5 released their third album and Martha Reeves and the Vandellas released Natural Resources. In 1971, LaBelle released their self-titled album. In 1972, Mata Hoople released the classic All the Young Dudes. In 1976, Hall & Oates released Bigger Than the Both of Us. Bunny Whaler released Black Heart Man. In 1978, David Bowie released Stage. Dave Edmonds released Tracks on Wax 4. And Styx released Pieces of Eight. In 1980, Kate Bush released Never Forever. In 1981, The Cure released Happily Ever After. In 1982, Peter Gabriel released Security. In 1986, The Human League released Crash and the B-52s released Bouncing Off the Satellites. In 1987, Mr. Mr. released Go On. Pink Floyd released A Momentary Lapse of Reason. And Rush released Hold Your Fire. In 1988, Bad Religion released Suffer. And Sam Phillips released The Indescribable Wow. In 1992, Screaming Trees released Sweet Oblivion, and Tom Waits released his iconic album, Bone Machine. In 1996, Marilyn Manson released Antichrist Superstar. In 1997, The Crystal Method released Vegas, and on that same day, Corner Shop released the album When I Was Born for the Seventh Time. In 1998, Blonde Redhead released in an expression of the inexpressible. Also on that same day, The Church released Hologram of Bale and Hole released their popular album, Celebrity Skin. In 1999, Tristania released Beyond the Veil. In 2003, Iron Maiden released Dance of Death. 
In 2006, Justin Timberlake released Future Sex Love Sounds. In 2009, Fish did a twofer. They released Joy and Party Time. Also in 2009, Washed Out released their EP, A Life of Leisure. In 2014, Queen released Queen Live at the Rainbow, 1974. And in 2017, Neil Young released the album Hitchhiker, which was actually recorded in the 1960s, but finally released decades later. Singles that were released in the UK on September 8th include in 1967 when the Box Tops released The Letter and Martha Reeves and the Mandela's released Love Bug Leave My Heart Alone. In 1972, Bread released The Guitar Man and in 1978, The Buzzcocks released Ever Fallen in Love with Someone You Should Know. Meanwhile, in America, in 1956, Elvis Presley didn't just do a twofer, or a threefer, or a fourfer, or a fivefer, or a sixfer. He released a sevenfer, the first sevenfer of this podcast. He released Money Honey, Just Because, Blue Suede Shoes, Lordy Miss Claudie, Trying to Get to You, Blue Moon, and Shake, Rattle, and Roll. All seven, all on the same day. In 1957, Jackie Wilson released Reet Petite. In 1972, T-Rex released Children of the Revolution. In 1978, Foreigner released Double Vision. In 1983, Madonna released Lucky Star. In 1987, Richard Marks released Should Have Known Better. In 2001, Kylie Minogue released Can't Get You Out of My Head and No One Could Get That Song Out of Their Head after it was released. In 2014, Nick Jonas released Jealous. And in 2017, Zayn Malik released Dust Until Dawn. And Sam Smith released Too Good at Goodbyes. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 8th include DJ and producer and remixer Avicii, Alicia Beth Moore, a.k.a. Pink, rapper Wiz Khalifa, DJ Big Boy, country music singer Jimmy Rogers, country music legend Patsy Cline, Amy Mann of Till Tuesday, Pigpen McKernan of The Grateful Dead, classical music composer Antonin Dvorak, Peter Davies of Prolation, rapper Slim Thug, David Lewis of Atlantic Star, Benjamin Orr of The Cars, Dean Daughtry of Atlanta Rhythm Section, Kelly Grocutt of ELO, or Electric Light Orchestra, if you will. Entertainer Harry Sacombe. Brian Cole of The Association. Mick Brown of Dawkins. Singer Lenny Kim. Singer Benicio Bryant. Singer Mackie Empuerto. Singer Eric Hutchinson. Producer Michael Lardy of Great White. Bassist Will Lee of Paul Schaefer and the World's Most Dangerous Band. David Steele of Fine Young Cannibals, Kathy Jean Giordano of Kathy Jean and the Roommates, country music singer Bill Parsons, singer Asha Bosol, country music singer-songwriter Nico Cass of The New Pornographers, drummer Richard Hughes of Keen, Brendan Kelly of The Lawrence Arms, singer Dante Drody of Dante and the Evergreens, Cajun music singer-songwriter Zachary Richard, trumpet and flugelhorn player Steve Waterman, singer Mark Gordon of the group Levert, guitarist Shunsuki Kitkuta, who played with Junior Wells, singer Leah LaBelle of American Idol fame, folk singer Peter Bellamy of the Young Tradition, trumpet player Gracie Cole of the group Ivy Benson, Bassist Wilbur Ware, multi-instrumentalist Alfio Grasso, and lyricist Howard Deitz. 
Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 8th include composer Robert Flood, who passed away in 1637 at the age of 63. Music publisher John Aitken passed away in 1831 at the age of 86. Composer Pietro Rovelli passed away in 1838 at the age of 45. Composer and resistance fighter during World War II, Jan von Gilsey passed away during World War II in 1944 at the age of 63. Composer Richard Strauss passed away in 1949 at the age of 85. Bassist Oscar Pettiford passed away in 1960 at the age of 37. Composer René Bernier passed away in 1984 at the age of 79. The founder of the Philharmonic Orchestra of Lisbon, composer Manuel Cruz passed away in 1985 at the age of 84. Cowboy Wiggins of Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five passed away from a crack cocaine overdose in 1989 at the age of 28. Composer Alex North passed away in 1991 at the age of 80. Composer and poet Moondog passed away in 1999 at the age of 83. Country music singer Charlie Walker passed away in 2008 at the age of 81. Singer-songwriter Rich Cronin of the group LFO, or Light Funky Ones, if you will, passed away from cancer in 2010 at the age of 36. Saxophonist Hadley Callaman passed away in 2010 at the age of 78. Trumpet player Gerald Wilson passed away in 2014 at the age of 96. Opera singer Magda Olivero passed away in 2014 at the age of 104. Jamaican music producer Prince Buster passed away in 2016 at the age of 78. Opera singer Johan Botha passed away in 2016 at the age of 51. Country music singer Don Williams passed away in 2017 at the age of 78. Country music singer Troy Gentry of Montgomery Gentry passed away in a helicopter accident in 2017 at the age of 78. Singer Camilo Sesto passed away in 2019 at the age of 72. And singer and synthesizer player Simeon Cox of Silver Apples passed away in 2020 at the age of 82. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 9th, when in 1971, John Lennon released his classic album, Imagine. Imagine. 